Welcome to the family people and welcome back to another Ogano Talk segment and today we're going to be talking about your mind is your time. Now some questions to ask yourself is how much time is your mind spending on a task or thinking about someone rather it's positive or negative. You could have feelings for someone therefore constantly thinking about them or you could have someone in your life constantly putting you down. Whatever you think about the mind gives them the center of focus. And now let's say you had an argument with a friend or family. And you had drama going on in your life and you had an assignment to write a eight page paper or so, you know, and as you're writing that paper every now and then you're going to be thinking about the argument as you write. Not only will the quality of your work, the, the output of the essay be poor, but you would have taken extra time to write the paper because your mind was focused on many different aspects of your life and it wasn't focusing on you know the present it wasn't focusing on getting the paper done it wasn't focusing on getting with the flow with the paper you know it wasn't focused on the writing but it was focused on other aspects of your life which in tune just slowed you down but drama can be one example of what can slow the mind uh, people can also get slowed down due to excessively working out the mind and burning out. So granted, when I see people working and burn out, they tend to uh, push, forth, push forth and keep on going even if they, they've burned out. They, these people ignore the fact that their processing speed and their energy is withering away, but the person just continues to work. And as they continue to work, they, their process becomes slower and slower. Though it is true that our society praises the hard worker, but to sacrifice yourself to get the job done isn't necessary. And it's much more beneficial to stop when you feel burnt out. So when you're burnt out, take a break, do something else to recharge and recollect your thoughts. Something that doesn't take a lot of mental focus or mental energy. Your activities could be as simple as getting something to eat, watching a short video, checking your social media, or for extroverts you can, you know, communicate with your friends or so, talking to others. But uh, what I see most of all is that when people do take a break, they do fall for the trap of having prolonged breaks that last 10 hours or so you know and that's wasted time i'd recommend your breaks should be i'd recommend they should be around like 30 to you know an hour to get your mind recharged so yeah when i take breaks breaks it usually lasts like 30 minutes to an hour i choose to use that time wisely rather as you know watching a new episode of a favorite show or you know going on a the social medias, you know, responding to some some people or so. And it's really up to you to choose what you want to do at that time, the hour of break. Or you could just, you know, sit there for an hour just staring at a wall. That that also helps too. Just just to chillax, you know. Or just you know, relax for an hour to recharge, listen to some soothing music or something, or whatever you like. But the main point is, once you finish recharging yourself, your processing speed and your energy is, you know, is back to its original state. And then you could continue on the, uh, the process of your work, of course. And I know some people that do think about relationships and family. As I'm learning from different people, my peers, my friends so and so if you're in a in a relationship or in your partner or family is limiting the amount of time that you're spending on your work then it's a loss for your work but if the compensations in the other aspects of your life exceed your working goals then you may not care so just know that you may be getting something beneficial but at the same time you may be sacrificing something else that's it for anything with contrast Contrast as in from not being famous to being famous, you know, there are some benefits, there are some pros and cons to fame, and there are some pros and cons to not being famous. And that's it for anything with contrast.
But at the same time, there are also those ambitious partners that will drive you to strive for even greater success. They know that you may not be able to achieve what you don't attempt. And their success becomes, you know, your success. And your success becomes their success and vice versa. You know, both passionate about bringing each other to new heights. And that will be about it for the Organo Talk segment. Segment. Peace out, people.